Hi everyone, it's me Jenny. I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll be taking a look inside my current planner collection for all of 2016. There are many planners, so in this series we'll be doing two parts, and in the first part we'll be talking about my A5 size planners, and there'll be a lot of chit chatting, so stay tuned. This is my first planner I ever purchased in December 2014. This is when I actually started my planner journey, and I really miss using this planner. I really need to make inserts for YouTube and blogging, just because those are my poor strengths that I really want to work on for 2017. My favorite part of the planner would have to be the genuine leather pan with the diamond pattern lining. It's very rare to see a pattern cotton lining nowadays. Like mentioned, some of the dividers or inserts featured in the planners are not the originals, and may contain random tidbits since I switch in and out planners often and I also use them as storage. Now I have previously mentioned the Lilac Planner was one of my top 5 favorite planners of all time which still holds true to this day. I do wish this planner came in the medium size since that's what I've mainly been using now since I find it more portable and easy for me to plan my first pink planner ever. It was purchased back in 2015. I remember getting the planner for under $30 due to a sale and I also recall being a bit hesitant about the leather but it's actually pretty nice. The planner has this super cute pattern and it was part of the cute collection. Here's a perforated mint planner. I did an unboxing video of this planner which you can check out in my previous uploads. Mint used to be my favorite color until I realized pink was really my bae. Throughout these two videos, you will see many donut dashboards. I honestly don't know why there are so many of them printed out. I think I was going to bring them to a meetup, but I must have forgotten them at home. I know I'm terrible. One of my top favorites. In the summer, they brought back the lilac planner but with gold floral dots and it was summer edition. They continued the Paws collection without incorporating the lilac color in any other station items. I speculate that they just want to get rid of the leftover lilac leather. Don't recall if I've ever featured this planner on my channel before. This is a Stockholm planner back when they still had their high-end brand of planners for sale. I received this as a gift from my family last Christmas in 2015. It's a gorgeous planner which needs more attention from me. If I had to describe the leather, it would be a calf leather it seems. It's a very well-made planner and the coffee color leather with the denim green lining is pretty charming. You can see the brand name embossed on the gold hardware. See, the inserts came dented, so they sent me new inserts, but they aren't exactly the same color. I've always experienced great customer service from the brand when I ever had issues. One of the main reasons why I am a loyal customer to the brand. This planner also came with a matching dust bag, so that makes this planner a tad fancier compared to the other planners, but you do pay for it in the cost. I usually do keep it stored inside the box though. Overall, when I say it's worth the price, it honestly depends on how much you love the design because KKK has proven time after time that they don't bring back old designs. This is the Heart of Gold planner from Marion Smith Designs. I'm pretty sure she's moved on from releasing new planners. She shut down her website and made her Instagram private and moved stuff to Amazon. I just never heard of a company having private Instagram if you're trying to sell products. And I also checked her Amazon to see if she sells planners still, but there is nothing of the sort. I personally had a poor experience ordering from her website. So we have our fair honorable mentions, mainly compendiums or A5 size-ish planners. My only Kiki K compendium 
and set perforate ice blue. I use this when I want to carry a nice notepad with a collection of notes. Any pockets for storage, so it makes it super easy to carry all the things I need for a project in one place, plus it's very slim and sleek. Another great thing is if I do ever run out of notepad paper, the brand usually releases new A5 notepad designs, which keeps the compendium from being dated and also refreshed by switching out with different notepads. I picked up this pad folio, thinking I might need something small to carry around, but I realized that's what my medium planner is for, so I will be giving this to my mother. It is a cute design with a pink faux snake leather and a black stripe interior. I'll upload the full review for this planner from the day designer. The exterior is very exquisite and beautiful. I recommend this planner for anyone who loves to write down everything, write down to every hour. It's a good alternative for people who love the hourly layout. And this planner itself has 316 undated pages, so you can plan when you need to. Lastly, we have is my beloved rose gold and conjun that you guys have seen, and I do have a full review in a previous video as well. Well, that is the end of part one of our planner collection. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far and find this as a nice visual aid. For your future purchase, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on part two, which includes my extensive Kate Spade and Kiki K planners. Until next time, bye! <laughs>